When was the last time you came to a friend, a family member, a brother, a sister in the church, a co-worker, and said, this was good, but let me tell you this. I remember this time, or I remember that time, and God has helped me and changed me. Instead of criticizing their life, you know what you should do? You should do this, and you should do that. You should stop that, and you should start this. Now, a word of exhortation. To exhort someone is to build them up so that they will come out of their situation and be transformed by what you say. You have been called to have a ministry of reconciliation. The words that you speak should be unforgettable. Someone somewhere should be able to think and say, I remember the day he spoke to me. He told me this, this, and that. And I've seen how God has worked in my life because of this. You have been called to the ministry of reconciliation. You have been called to be ambassador of God. Is there in your mouth unforgettable words that uh, build up people? Not curses and insults, but words that are well spoken. Barnabas had a ministry of reconciliation. He was a man who could bring consolation. He was a man who will bring people to the knowledge of Christ. Our tongue is a small instrument, but it can do a lot of good things and it can do a lot of bad things. We have to control it so we can glorify God and not defile ourselves. Often, the best way is to say nothing. Remember, the less you speak, the less you sin. What do you say to the mother of a paralyzed son? You say nothing. What do you say to a wife who realized that her spouse has left her for another woman? What kind of word of exhortation can you share? What do you say to children who are at the bed where the father is dying? How is the Holy Spirit using you to bring a word of exhortation? Do you have word of discouragement or encouragement? Are you there to speak empty words? All will be well. God will help you. I'll pray for you. It's impossible. I remember one of my friends being upset when he found out that his baby boy was deaf. Himself was a musician, a great piano player, and he was angry at God. He said, why is this happening? Why is this happening in my life? Why is my son deaf like this? He won't be able to enjoy my music. And people came to him, putting a hand on, the, on his shoulder and says, oh, I know what you're going through. You know, God will help you. You don't know what I'm going through, he said. You don't have a deaf child. You don't have a child with a handicap that is so terribly isolating. How can you know? Sometimes the best way to have a ministry of encouragement is to say nothing. A simple hug, a simple handshake, a look, a help, a cooked meal would help. Someone is distressed, someone is alone, someone is tired. Visit them, encourage them, be there for them. Proverb 25 11 says, A word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Word fitly spoken are like apples of gold on silver setting. How are your words? How are your words golden apple on these silver setting, the lips that God has given you? or their word of death into the life of those who hear you. I want to invite you to pray with me. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, first of all, I want you to pray and recognize that without Him, you won't be able to change the way you talk. Without Him, you will not be able to control even your tongue and less your body. So that you have to submit yourself to His authority. Recognize that you are a sinner 
Acknowledge that you need a Savior and turn away from your sin so that He will be your God. Would you repeat that prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I want to thank you because you love me. You have sent Jesus to reconcile me with God. And today, I recognize my sinful nature. I know that I have spoken words I should have never spoken. I have thought thoughts that I should have never thought. I have done things I should have never done. But today, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I acknowledge that I need you and I turn away from my sin. So help me, Jesus, to control my tongue and to control my entire body. Amen. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, email us, write us. We will send you literature to help you in your walk with Christ. Now for all of those who are watching this broadcast and are Christians, I want to invite you to join me in this prayer. Lord Jesus, I thank you because you love me just the way I am. And you have reconciled me with you and given me the ministry of reconciliation. But often my tongue has been a divisive, a dividing tool used by the enemy to hurt people and, and speak gossip and evil thoughts uh, were expressed through my tongue. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help me to control my tongue so it will not defile me anymore. And then you will help me to control my tongue so I will constantly glorify who you are. In that ministry of exhortation, consolation, and reconciliation that you have called me into. I thank you, Father, because you give me a new beginning. And today, you will allow me to speak words that will be unforgettable. Words that will be so fitly spoken that they will be like golden apple on silver setting. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, my friends, this is all the time we have for the good news this week. Until next time, I pray that what you have heard will bless you and challenge you to know God better. If you have any questions, any needs, any prayer requests, please contact us. We will be more than happy to help you. Our address and contact information will be given to you in just one minute. But now, here is a message from our senior pastor, Reverend James Williams. Well, hello there. I'm Pastor James Williams, and I want to welcome you. I want to welcome you to Yonkers Christian Assembly and also to this tape. Uh, people come from all around the world that attend YCA. We come from Africa and Asia, Europe, uh, South and Central America, many different states here in the United States as well. And although we dress different, eat different foods, and uh, listen to different styles of music, and uh, many things are different about us, we also have some things that are very much in common. We love Jesus. We love our God. We love to worship our God. He's done so much for us and He's such a wonderful God. We love to sing to Him and pray to Him. And although we're different in many ways, we have these things in common and they bring us together as an individual unit in a local church. We'd love for you to be a part of it as well. Not just to come back and attend a service, but to truly be involved at YCA. I hope that I'll see you again. Uh, I hope that you'll join us for another opportunity for worship. And I hope that if you're looking for a home church, that you will have found it here at YCA. God bless you. This was The Good News, a production of CMP Ministries. If you want more information about this ministry or request a copy of this broadcast, you can email us at cmp2005 at juno.com. You can also write to us. Our address is The Good News, 229 North Broadway, Yonkers, New York, 10701. May God bless you and keep you.